Hey, good optometry morning. So today we are talking about the most important decision that you need to make that will affect your vision for the rest of your life. We are talking about which IOL lens implant you should get for cataract surgery. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and today we're talking about the lens implant options that you have available to you and which one might be right for you. So when your surgeon does cataract surgery, they're going to remove your natural crystalline lens, but they need to replace it with something. And so they're going to replace it with something called an intraocular lens implant, otherwise referred to as an IOL. So there are many, many options that are available in IOLs, and each comes with their own advantages and disadvantages, and that's where you need to make a decision. So the first type of IOL is the traditional spherical monofocal IOL. So the monofocal IOL is designed to put things in focus at one particular distance. Now you can choose which distance that is, whether it's distance, which would be things like for driving, or intermediate, which would be watching TV or working at arm's reach distance, or for near, which would be things like reading. It's also the least expensive option and it's covered by most insurance plans. So the main advantage of a monofocal ILL is that they provide very, very predictable outcomes and vision, and they provide the clearest vision at one particular distance. Now the downside of that is that for other distances, you're going to often require to use glasses or contact lenses to allow you to focus at those distances. Now if you have any other type of eye condition that might affect your vision, things like macular degeneration, epiretinal membrane, glaucoma, inflammations in the eye, conditions that affect the cornea, any condition that might affect your vision, this is the option that you should choose because you may not want to compromise your already reduced vision with some other complicated optics. Okay, and so the next most common type of IOL is the toric monofocal IOL. So a toric IOL is designed to correct astigmatism. And astigmatism is basically, sometimes we refer to it as your eye is shaped not like a, a ball or a perfect sphere, but it's more curved in one meridian than another, more like a football than a ball. The way I describe it to my patients is that it's a form of farsightedness or nearsightedness where the prescription in one meridian of your eye, let's say vertical, is different than the prescription in the horizontal meridian. Now pretty well everyone has some amount of astigmatism, but if you have a larger amount, then it can play a factor in which lens you want to choose. Generally speaking, if you have astigmatism of about a diopter or a diopter and a half or higher, then this is an option that you may want to consider. The reason why is because if you have some astigmatism and you choose not to correct it with a toric IOL, it means that even if you choose a monofocal IOL, you're probably still going to need glasses or contact lenses to make your vision really, really clear at all distances. So these lenses are definitely more expensive than the spherical monofocal IOLs, but when my patients ask me if they should get the toric monofocal IOL, I will always say that 100% if your surgeon recommends this option, you should get it. So two things you want to consider if you are getting a toric IOL. So number one, so it's designed to reduce all or almost all of your astigmatism, but you can still end up with some astigmatism after getting the toric IOL, but it's going to be much, much less astigmatism than you would have if you didn't get it. And the second thing to know is that there are some individuals that might not actually have any astigmatism in their glasses prescription, but the surgeon, after doing some measurements on the curvature of your eye and your lens and the length of your eye, they might determine that you would benefit from a toric lens. And if the surgeon recommends that you get a toric lens. If you can afford that lens, I would highly recommend you choose that option. All right, and before I get into a couple of other options, if you're learning anything new in this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you can tell YouTube the value of this video. Okay, so the next option that you have is a multifocal IOL. And a multifocal IOL is designed to allow you to see at multiple distances and reduce your need for glasses or reading glasses or progressives after cataract surgery. So it uses very, very specific optics to kind of split light rays to focus multiple images on the retina all at the same time and allow you to see more than one distance at the same time. So the real advantage is this really reduces your dependency on glasses uh, after surgery, but the disadvantage of it is that they can often result in some glare and halos, particularly in dim light or at night. However, if you can accept that slight halo and glare at night, 
and a little bit reduced visual acuity than the monofocal IOL, then this would be a great lens for you, particularly if you absolutely hate glasses and want to reduce the chances of having those at all costs. So there are a number of different types of multifocal IOLs and each have their own advantages and disadvantages and work at certain distances and not others. And the technology on these lenses is improving rapidly and they're becoming a much, much more popular option that patients are choosing. But as I mentioned earlier, if you have any other eye conditions, this is not the option you want to choose. The optics in this lens are way too complicated for people that have reduced vision from other complications in their eyes. Now, the other nice thing about multifocal lenses is that many, many of them are available in toric lens options as well. Now, one tip that I would definitely have for you, if you're considering a multifocal IOL implant, one thing that you should definitely be doing is checking with your optometrist if there's any signs of dry eye at all. And if you have any signs of it, then you should get that treated before the cataract consult because that will provide the best optics and allow the surgeon to get the best measurements to have the highest likelihood of success with this lens. And if you want to learn a little bit about treating your dry eye before cataract surgery, then I'm going to put a video up here that you can watch. Then, all right, and the last option is an accommodative IOL. And so this lens is actually kind of flexible and it works with your eye's natural focusing muscle. And so this lens flexes its shape a little bit to allow you to focus at different distances. So accommodative IOLs, will typically have the same disadvantages of multifocal IOLs in that they'll give you some glare at the distance and they definitely won't have as sharp a vision as a monofocal IOL. So this option is the least common of the IOLs that's used and there is some debate on its effectiveness amongst surgeons and eye doctors and so you don't often see it as one of the primary options that they're suggesting. So my advice to you is to do lots and lots of research about IOL options which might be the best ones for you because this lens is not easily exchanged and it's likely going to be in your eye for the rest of your life. Now if you want to learn about the lens option that most optometrists are recommending to their patients and the option that I chose for my eyes, then you should be watching this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.